Good evening, everyone. I want to thank you for coming out and supporting Project Green Up. My mother, Emma Snyder, was supposed to host this event tonight, but she couldn't be here. We had a family emergency. Family is very important to her. So is the farm, protecting the land that's given us so much over the years. His dearest wish to preserve the farmland as protected green space. Excuse me, Lily, might I interrupt right now because I have a short announcement to make and I think this is the proper juncture. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the wash. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Chair. And thank you, people, for being here this evening. And thank you for bringing your checkbooks. It's a very short announcement. I just want you to know that I called a meeting of the board of Worldwide Industries, and today, at my suggestion, they've approved a plan to sell back the land that we're planning to develop to Mrs. Emma Snyder for $1. <laughs> means that tonight any of the funds that are raised will go to cleaning up the contaminated land and returning it as a nature preserve and a public park for generations of our Oakdale children. Oh, honey, it wasn't me. It was him. Well, he is a good influence. Sunda, thank you. That was very generous. Um, like Lucinda said, I hope you all get out your checkbooks and make big donations. I'd like to uh, introduce our musical guest for the evening, Mr. Will Daly. this champagne. Hopefully people will loosen up and donate some money. <laughs> Thank you. Let's see how it works. Would you like some champagne? Enjoy. Champagne, sir? show up like this, out of the blue. I, I can't. How is this possible? Long story. What the hell is he doing? He said he'd never show his face here again. Well, I guess he changed his mind. Why? I don't know. Maybe for me. He's not supposed to be here. I'm sorry, what did you say? What? Well, I... Sorry to put a damper on your party. I'm actually here to see Margo. I have some things to explain to the cops. Excuse me. It's a good idea. So, start talking. I understand you have some questions about what happened to James Stenbeck. You were there? Yeah, I was struggling with him when 
Paul's gun went off. So you were the one who was shot? Yeah, but I got lucky. Bullet only grazed me. Merely a flesh wound. What I wanted to tell you... is that Meg Snyder is totally innocent. Huh, not totally. I asked her who else was there. She conveniently neglected to mention you. Well, that's because I didn't want anyone to know I was alive. I swore her to secrecy. If you need to arrest anyone, arrest me. Well, sounds like a good idea. That's exactly what I'm going to do. So, Dusty, we'll take it down to headquarters, get it all on record. We'll start with how you convinced everyone you were dead. Dusty, need some help, Margo? No, I got this covered. Why don't you just stay and enjoy the party? You okay? Yeah, fine. Just forget that I'm not a cop anymore. Emily, this is an official investigation. Would you get a life? I have to go with him. You will do no such thing. I thought I made myself clear to you. You do not tell me what to do. Lucinda, I'll handle this. Okay, whatever you will, but just she's in shock. Just don't let Lily do something that she'll regret. Why don't we get out of here? Yeah, why don't we? Happening? How could Dusty be alive? You know what? I'm sure Margot will get all the answers and fill us in. But right now, what we need to do is keep this party rolling. Can you help me do that? Yeah. 